What's up everybody? This is Zoya and today is I guess a vlog day another day outside fishing but uh, at a place where actually I've never been to uh, we are on the western side of South Korea so this is the so-called western sea we're here to uh, try to fish for flounder I don't know if it'll happen hopefully it will <laughs> So uh, I hope I'll be able to show you some fish today. Uh, but uh, overall, I think the weather is nice. It's not like it's uh, I'll, I'll show you guys, but the, the sky is overcast. So it's a good thing because I'm not going to be out in the sun as much. So it's going to be pretty comfortable fishing. It's not raining, though. So that's also a big plus. It may drizzle a little bit, but probably not too much. So the plan is to just move around, fish, Try to catch something. All right, let's go. So the people, most of the fishermen, I'd say most of the people fishing are actually over on that dock because it's very comfortable, easy. Uh, a lot of them are with families. They're really not there to fish seriously. They're just kind of there to just camp and have fun together. Maybe some of them are there to try to fish much, but I'd say, uh, yeah, over there is like uh, uh, iron and bronze maybe, so to say. And then uh, right over here, a little further away, uh, a little harder to get to, uh, but I think a little more reward here, but uh, I'd say it's uh, maybe like silver and gold over here this guy uh, This guy may be plat uh, He has waders on and then uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be here for a little bit But actually if I were to give a rating to myself or my husband uh, I'd probably say that my husband is like uh, maybe like grandmaster and I am uh, I'm like a solid flat, maybe diamond uh, when it comes to fishing. So, uh, which means we don't stay at one place for a long time. We try and then if it doesn't produce, we move to a different spot and uh, keep hopping until we find a place that does produce. Let me show you my setup. So this is my reel. It's uh, by Cadence, actually. You can see it's a little bit weathered down, but I really like it. It's really nice. I have a braided line, but uh, a little bit of monofilament as my uh, as my leader. So this rod actually is also from Cadence. Also a little bit beat up. Uh, this is the CR5 model. Actually, if you are thinking of if you are thinking of getting into fishing and uh, wondering which rod which rod to get, I'd say this is a pretty pretty solid pick. Cadence, Cadence has really nice rods. They're fully online though. You can see I kind of busted my handle here a little bit. Uh, I actually have a spare one at home, another one, but I forgot to bring it. But this should work fine. It still holds the reel, so it should be okay. Yeah, so uh, the setup is really simple. Since we're fishing for flounders, I'm just gonna have uh, my rod and reel here. And then these are, these are the goods. So sea tail grubs and jigs. So these are the these are the jigs I'm gonna use. There are multiple colors of these grubs. I think since it's kind of overcast and gray, I'm gonna try white first and then uh, pink. But we'll see. We'll see what works, what doesn't. So uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we're gonna catch something. Today. Yeah. So just like this, very simple.
right now it's an outgoing tide, which makes it the perfect time for catching flounders in this area. Hopefully we're gonna catch something. We just uh, switched spots, changed spots. We waited uh, in, the, uh, in the previous spot, but there was uh, quite a lot of competition, a lot of other people who were there. So we had to move. Yeah, this spot, this spot looks promising. I feel like I'm walking on the moon or something. Hey guys, so a quick update. Uh, we moved places. It's uh, really rocky here, which means the snag is just getting a little too much. I've lost like uh, four, three, four jigs now. I think this open hook is just too snaggy. So I'm gonna switch to what's called a Texas rig and I'm actually going to uh, switch it right on camera. But my leader line, as you can see, because of all the snags that I got, it became really short. It's only like a foot maybe. So I have to get rid of it. I have to make a new one. Yeah, with fishing, a lot of times it's, you can't just do the same thing over and over. You kind of have to, kind of have to adapt and change things. So this is gonna be my new leader line. I'm gonna go. One, two, and three, should be good. Maybe, maybe a little more. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. This is the braided line, looks like this. This is the monofilament. And I need to connect these two together. So I'm gonna connect them with uh, two knots, actually on both sides. Uh, they're called uni knots. So here's how it goes. Here's the braided line. I put the monofilament. Maybe I should take my gloves off so you can see better. But yeah, there's a monofilament. I mean, my braided line and the mono. And I go like this, put it over, over the braid. I'll leave some space here because I'm going to have to tie another knot on the other side. And I'm going to make a loop make a loop right here like this and then I'm going one two three four uh, five let's do six and then I'm tightening this okay I'm not tightening too much right now just leaving it like this and now it's time to make uh, another one kind of mirror it on this side so I'm gonna kind of flip it a little bit and do the same thing, but with my braid. Braid is a lot thinner, so I'm just gonna go maybe seven, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, again, tighten it. All right, looks good. So now I got these two knots, one right here and one right here, and I'm gonna connect them. With each other like this and now it's time to tighten this knot okay just gotta be a little gentle here beautiful and then i'll just gently carefully cut off the tag ends don't just leave your tag ends everywhere put them in your trash bag or something if you have a backpack good so now the line is connected. It is a little bit of a of a knot, like a bump. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, and now it's time for the actual rig. Now that I have my leader line, so I'm gonna use this brass sinker and then this white hook and a grub. So let's go. First, we gotta put the brass sinker on. It looks like a bullet. Sometimes called a bullet sinker. So putting it on like this. 
So it's gonna kind of slide like this. And then on this line, I'm gonna tie the hook. I could use the same knot from before, the uni knot, but I think I'm gonna use the polymer knot for this one. It's a lot stronger. Although probably it's a little bit overkill. Uh, the polymer knot, one of the strongest knots out there. Uh, we put it through the uh, eye hook, hook eye, eye, eye hook? Yeah, wait, the eye of the hook, anyway. <laughs> put it through like this to create a loop. So just to have a little tag end at this side, I'm gonna take it and do just a regular overhand knot with this, like this. And then this creates a loop here. I don't tighten it yet. I take this loop and I put the hook through the loop. So this is what we have here. It looks like a mess, but we take and we pull. Pull on both ends, but if it's a little too much, you can just pull on one end pull on the tag end, tighten it, and then pull on the other end, tighten it. Just don't hurt yourself <laughs> with the, with the, with the hook. And there we go. The polymer knot, all done. You can catch a shark with it, it's not gonna break. Or at least it's not gonna break at the, at the actual knot. My phone is not focusing on it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna cut off the tag end, and here we are. This is what it looks like. And now all that's left is a grub. I'm gonna use this pink one. So you just go and put it through at the top like this. Okay. And then bring it all the way, all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna put the hook through the back, kind of at the bottom of the grub. This is a little tricky. Okay, so I put it through. Now it's straight in like this. There's a little bit of a gap in the back. But you see the hook is exposed. So the key here is to actually bury the hook in the grub. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to pinch it and then put the, put the hook into the grub like this. Yep. Okay. So you would think, how is a fish going to get caught with this setup? But trust me. When a fish bites it and I set the hook, it's gonna, it's gonna hook it. And then if I go with my finger like this, I'm not gonna get hooked. So here we are. My rig is ready to go. Um, let's uh, try to catch something. Ooh. Ooh. That guy headed on the way down. Ooh. Ooh. Nice size. What kind of flounder is this? It's a black belly. Oh, my man. Oh, he inhaled that thing. Yeah. What kind of action did you do? Nothing, just falling. <laughs> just falling? He took it when it was like falling. Oh. On my Texas rig. Texas rig, nice. Oh, he tore it up. Keep him this guy. Uh -huh. There's a little... Uh, the live well here we have going. Yeah, he's a little shocked, but it's okay. He'll stay here, no problem. And we're moving yet again. Whew. Oh, it's been a tough day fishing for me. My husband at least caught a fish. All right, guys, so that is the wrap for today. Unfortunately, I didn't catch anything today. Oh, it was a it was a tough day fishing, but it was actually it was actually not too bad. It was not that tough. But, you know, when you fish all day and you don't catch anything, sometimes it's like, mm. but I'm used to it. It, it. it happens a lot, especially here in Korea. But yeah, but at least my husband caught one. So um, that was nice. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know any other suggestions that you have for vlogs or any other questions that you may have outside of the league world. Uh, I will be more than happy to um, talk about those things. Thanks again for watching. This was Zoya, the Russian Korean, and I'll see you next time.
What? You thought this vlog was over? The best part of any trip is always food, guys. Food. We got some nice warm rice balls here or rice triangles. Four of them. Some kimchi. My husband got some nice ramen here. And I got this ramen. I like it. It looks not spicy, but it is. Take a look. Tastes great. So uh, this is how we shall finish our day and then uh, be on our way home. After a hard day of fishing, this tastes good, guys. <laughs> Let me drink some. Oh. Oh. 